Popping Collective. This is your girl, the Spiritual Assassin. Welcome to my channel, The Cognitive Queen. Without further delay, we're going to go ahead and tap into these messages. Again, happy Mother's Day weekend to all mothers. Even if you're not a mother, you're still a mother to me. So again, happy Mother's Day to you beautiful goddesses of planet Kai. So without further delay, let's tap into these messages, guys. <laughs> Before we get started, if you guys need any private readings, please contact me at Facebook under Creative Illuminations, my business page. You can also reach me at my website at creativeilluminations.net, or you can reach me um, on my Facebook page, Starseed, and message me there, or you can reach me at illuminationsofcreation at yahoo.com to discuss all the services that I have from Reiki, from mentoring, um, to um, uh, uh, teaching you how to eat healthier. Okay, guys, so without further delay, we're going to go ahead and tap into these messages. I, oh, I also provide artwork. So if you guys would like to see what the, the type of artwork that I do provide, you can most definitely follow those pages below. Those I'm going to have the link below where you can uh, find out this information. Okay, guys, so without further delay, let's start. Yes, happy Mother's Day weekend. So we're going to get some what's crowning the read for today and we're going to be reading from the um high priestess deck here and the ancestors and angels deck here actually yeah yes we are confirmation let's go someone needs to surrender over here or you have surrendered control let's get some more messages I can release my need to control things. So I feel like that you guys have released control here. Yes, but somebody could be envious of you here. Hmm. Because you're about to receive abundance here. So let's get one more card. And somebody is in fear of something here. So what I'm picking up with these messages so far is someone needs to surrender control. Somebody that's envious of you, that en envious of your abundance here, is someone is scared that you won't accept them back, or if somebody is in fear of you. Maybe you was in fear. I feel like someone is in fear of you. They are. In, they are in fear that you're about to get this abundance. They're envious of you, and they're trying to control your abundance. Is what I'm picking up. Somebody's trying to control your money, your happiness, your love life. Huh. It's time to go out and, and go have some good laughs and watch some comedy and move your energy around. Thir 313 on the screen when I said this. Yeah. You're not feeling guilty about a situation anymore, and you're not worried about whatever that's going on. Someone is worried, but you're not worried. You're not guilty, or someone doesn't feel guilty about a situation. Maybe they're worrying about something. Maybe they did something that was guilt that they was guilty in doing. I don't know, but somebody has failed. Somebody will not be successful here. Someone that's in a love affair could be going through some some type of health here. Bad health here and judgment will be called on the situation. Huh. Yeah, your enemies have no access towards you anymore. That's what I'm picking up. You have courage. You're not worried about the situation anymore or about this person that has no discipline. So you stepped into your power, but this person is still trying to control your abundance. They're still envious of you and they're feared that you're not going to come back towards them. Or they, they are in fear that you're about to get this abundance. Because they don't want you to um, win, is what I'm picking up. Same old energy, nothing new, different day. Because people don't like to close out karmic cycles. So this is what happens when you don't close out karmic cycles. You go back into another karmic cycle and it repeats itself all over again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. So let's get some um, high priestess deck. Let's see if we can make some positive messages out of this person that breadcrumbed you or juggled you or try to put you in third party energies, whoever this person is trying to stop you from getting your abundance. And they are, they are in fear that you're going to be on top. What kind of mess is that? But let's continue with these messages. Can you clarify surrender for me, please? Thank you. 
You are a divine feminine. You have released control here. Great job. Yes, you have magnetic flow. You could be a life path number seven. You have receptive power. So you get your divine knowledge from the most high. Your crown chakra is activated. Your third eye is activated. You have a soul urge to do something um, marvelous with your hands. You could be a Reiki practitioner here. Is what I'm picking up. You a hummingbird may be significant towards you. The serpent may be significant towards you. You may need to look up those angel numbers. Maybe something happened around the red moon when that came about. Hmm. I feel like you got ego energy here. You're gonna soar past anything that past anything or any obstacle that's thrown your way. So let's clarify the um, divine feminine card, please. Yes, you are taking flight and you are moving fast. You are like sprinting and you're jumping over hurdles and you're running to the marathon and you're not looking back and you are propelling to be the best version of yourself. You better go ahead because you realize that you had to let go of control issues. You had to let go of anything that no longer served you. You had to let go of anything that was trying to hold you back from moving forward. And you, once you did that, you are taken off like a bullet. Great job, Collector. You could be a water sign here, Pisces Scorpio energy here. You could have a water guardian here. I'm picking up Yamaya, Oshan, Oya is protecting you here. They want you to connect with your emotions, be one with yourself, love yourself, take care of yourself, and watch yourself. Pay attention to how you react to things is what I'm picking up. Can I get one more for water guardian, please? Yes, you have a healing heart. You are healing your heart chakra. You're healing from any um, deception, any setback and delays. Anybody that tried to come in and to destroy you, you are healing your heart and you're moving so fluently with your blissful energy. I love you, collective. Yes, I do. You guys are really doing the dang thing here. So continue to soar in the sky and be that eagle, be that phoenix rising that you are and don't look back. Yes. Beautiful energy. I got 27 here. You could be a life path number nine, but also 27 is telling me that you're ending cycles here and you're going to receive a new beginning here. You could also be a 42 breaking down. What's that? Six. You could be a life path number six. I got six and seven, breaking down to 13. You are being divinely guided to walk away from a situation that no longer served your purpose. And once you did that, you was able, eight, eight on the screen. So eight, eight may be a, um, a angel number for you guys. You may want to look that up or you're about to come across some type of good luck or prosperity when I said that. Yes. But since you opened up your heart, you was able to be divinely guided to heal yourself the way you're supposed to and not be um, feeling resentment towards anybody that tried to hurt you in the past or made posts about you in the past or try to put throw relationships in you um, throw relationships in your face. I feel like that you that it doesn't it's not bothering you because you are on a solar a cellular soul energy and you're just not putting time in anything that no longer serve your purpose is what I'm picking up. So let's continue with the next energy. Can you please clarify envy for me, please? Who is this envious energy? Who is this envious energy? This envious energy is someone who needs to open their heart. So somebody who has a closed heart chakra, someone could have been be in a relationship with someone a fake twin flame connection because I see the numbers 11 here. So 11 to me is a, if you're envious, then you're not a karmic. You're, you're a karmic person because divine feminists are not envious. They don't come off their throne to flex for anybody unless we're doing our divine work and we still don't come off the crown for that. So this, whoever this envious energy is, your masculine guy with this energy, thought that it was their soulmate, but this person has a blessed, um, has I'm sorry, has a closed heart chakra here. Yeah. This person is, uh, I got the peacekeeper here says, let go of the need to be right. So this person is always in the need to be right about something here. And they have a closed heart chakra here and they are envious of you. They are so jealous and so envious of you, child. Yeah, they are. You're not the drum, um, the drum here, dream and journey. So you could possibly come across a bunch of dreams and journeying. You could be, um, 
about to experience your lifetime dream. You're about to live in your destiny. You're living in your destiny. You're taking the bull by the horn and you're driving that bull and you are becoming one with your journey, with your destiny, with your destined plan here because you are fulfilling what the Most High has sent you down to earth to do. Yeah, and you're going to be receiving great benefits this summer from this. The bee energy is here. You are most definitely connected with Oshan here, with the honey, with the bees. You're going to be receiving some type of abundance here in the summertime. But I'm also picking up that somebody could have been working in your dream state here. And possibly maybe they try to put you in a jar, a honey jar or something, trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. I'm picking that up too. So somebody could have put, a, put uh, was, was trying to manipulate your dreams by putting a spell on you to keep you stuck into a situation, to keep you stuck, to keep you stagnant from moving on. But that didn't work because, of course, you are blessed by the Most High and your ancestors and our riches or whoever that you prescribe to are not uh, allowing this to happen is what I'm picking up. This could have happened in autumn here. Somebody could have put a spell on you in autumn. I said it's released. It says, Autumn, release the old and rest. It's time for somebody to release this situation and rest. Someone who's continuously doing spell work on you needs to let this situation rest. They have not let this situation come um, to um, uh, come to full round. They are still doing spell work on you and job work on you, trying to give you keep you stuck in a situation, but it's not going to work because you vibrate higher than them. Yep. And this person, what I tell you, that heart chakra is closed off. Heart guardian is here. It says, Love and let yourself be loved. This person has a closed heart chakra here. They are not receiving love or accepting love. They could pretend pretending to be an earth angel, but they're not this earth angel at all because they're doing spell work. They want to be right all the time. And this person is, needs to open up their heart. They need to come from a loving um, position. Their ancestors are still trying to reach out to them, but they acting like they, the ancestors got their hand out, like, come on, get, get on the board. But they like, hell no, they don't want to get on the board. They want to be stuck and stagnant and be in this hate ass energy and continue to do, to do spell work to make sure that you don't roll with the, cor the crow energy here. They're trying to end you. They're trying to end you from you uh, receiving your abundance. This, 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 this honey here. They, they don't want you to receive that. Yeah. They could be playing in your dream here. They're playing in your dreams here, yo. Come on. Let's get these confirmation. I just scratched my nose, so that's confirmation. All right. So let's move to the next pile. Let's go. Can you please clarify abundance for me, please? Yeah, somebody didn't have clarity about a situation that fell under um, the healing heart. So you, maybe you didn't have clarity about a situation before um, collective, but I feel like you have gained clarity now. You wasn't sure about what, what the situation was about. I just did a video before this one, and it was about how a masculine had hidden, hid a whole family from a divine feminine. So you didn't have clarity about the situation or why y'all didn't um, propel or why didn't y'all didn't move forward in life with a divine masculine, with a masculine or not. But your masculine was hiding a whole fucking family from you. That's why. Yep. Can you clarify abundance for me, please? Thank you. Yeah, you're going to be receiving some monetary residual income here. You'll bet the, all the work that you have put in is about to pay off for you. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here, but you're about to eat and God has made a table for your enemies to watch and they're going to watch you feast. They're going to watch you eat. They're going to watch you enjoy this life because they plotted on your abundance. They plotted on your downfall. They made plans and strategically did things to you to make you fail but what you did you rose above that bullshit you got into your business or your job or your career and you got they made something out of yourself you took all that pain and made it into beauty that's what you did you stood up like the phoenix rising and you showed them you ain't showed them you showed yourself how powerful you can be and now god is going to reward you with this fruits for your labor so get ready and enjoy. It's on its way to you. You lady luck you. <laughs> yes, you are. It says enjoy growth and re reap your rewards. You about to, you've been growing and you about to reap your rewards. Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. Let's go. Can you clarify the lady card for me, please? Ancestors. Yes. 
You have achievement here. Come on, talk to me, source. You have achieved a great deal. You have learned a great deal. You have experienced a great deal. And you are achieving all those lessons you have learned and you're, uh, ampl you are amplifying them and you are applying them to your life, which means that you are achieving your goals. You can have a buffalo spirit here. Yeah, you have effort plus intentions. Your intentions was pure and of light. So since you're intentions was up here in the light since you had achieved such a great deal you will be receiving this growth in the near future for you guys yes you will be receiving this yeah you could be a white witch here so you you could be smart as hell you are smart as hell you are very intuitive you got the wow here that's guiding you one of your spiritual animals you are creative, you are um, enthusiastic you are wise you are knowledgeable you have the hidden keys hidden knowledge here you could be this white woman, you know, you could be this woman with dreads here, okay? You could be any race here. It's not even about being, it's not about race, it's just the energy, okay, guys? Because we all deserve to be loved. I don't care what color you are, brown, black, green, 16, 16 on the screen, you may want to look up that angel number. Yes, 77, you finna come, you finna be lucky, 16, 16, breaking down to 77. You finna be lucky out here. And then I got 49, breaking down to 13. It's been divinely guided for you to get this paper. 77, you finna be lucky. 49, breaking down to 13. It's been divinely guided to come towards you. So a miraculous um, uh, gift is from the universe is about to bless you any day right now. Because this, you are in your abundance. You're working in your north node. You're working in your abundant lifestyle. So you're going to be blessed for work, working in your divine path. For, for you following instructions from the Most High. And the Most High is going to bless you. Don't even worry about where it's coming, how it's going to come. Just accept it when it gets here and make sure you give gratitude back to your source and spirit guys and uh to the, the spiritual realm most definitely can you clarify um achievement for me please yes you have brilliant beliefs here you could be into divinity you could be a reiki teacher here a reiki practitioner or teaching um uh, some of, of some sort um you got tigers as um your spiritual animals you can look like this woman uh, an Islander here is one I'm picking up. I got 45 breaking down to a nine. You ended the cycle and you achieved so much success. And that's why you're going to receive this abundance is what I'm picking, picking up. You have a numerous life force here, guys. So you're not even, you're not human. You're, you're from the cosmos. <laughs> Everybody is not the same on this planet. You are, you are a literally a earth angel here and you have a luminous life force. You got prana running all through your body right now. The divine force is all in you and working through you and working for you. You have personal power to achieve anything that no longer serves your purpose. You are moving past anything that is no longer serving your purpose. And you, you're expressing your personal power and you're utilizing your personal power to uh, get past any situations that no longer serve you is what I'm picking up. Can I get one more? Yeah, because you ended up a cycle now. So you use your personal power to end a cycle is what I'm picking up. Yeah, because you're a freaking shaman. I can't make this up. You're summoning in your powers. Yes, you know the secrets. Look at that moon card. You, the, the moon reveals secrets. And yes, you can have foxes as your spiritual animal. You can have a deer um, deer as your spiritual spiritual animal animal. You can look like this woman, but not necessarily. Okay. But you are a shaman. You are called, you are here to heal people. You have instinct, intellect, and control. You control your emotions, your feelings. You are smart as hell. You can decode and decipher anything that comes your way and you have control over your intellectual and your instinct. So you can control your emotions. You are in control because you're balanced, because you're an earth angel, period. Can I get some more messages? Can you clarify the fear card for me, please? I see that you guys are this hunter in this hunter energy. So you're tracking down your dreams and your fears and your desires and you hunting them down and you going and you taking possession of your life, of your career, of your business. And you're going to be successful as long as you keep doing this. Do not veer off the path. Continue doing what you're doing. Keep Continue to keep pushing and striving for the best is what I'm picking up. The next card we're going to clarify is the fear card. 
Can you please clarify the fear card for me, please? Somebody that was in fear is going through a bunch of hostilities right here, a bunch of conflict, a bunch of confusion. This is my five of wands card. So somebody could have inner conflict within their self. Somebody could be a lot, doing a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting, a lot of um, back and forth here. But there's hostilities with this energy. Whoever this person that's in fear of you or somebody who was scared of you or if they, they, they thought that maybe if you did magic, they, they, you did magic on them or whatever the case may be. But this person, you never did magic on them. That person that they was dealing with did magic on them. But this person who is in fear, I feel like this is a masculine energy. This masculine energy who was fear, who was too of a coward to come towards you. Because I look at that as fear, fear of the, the what's that? The, um, the cowardly lion or something like that. Who, who is that? Y'all know what the fuck I'm saying. But anyway, let's get back to it. But this, this fearful energy, I was going through a bunch of hostilities. Yeah, because they didn't change. They did not close out a situation that source told them to close out. Period. They're supposed to close out a situation with, with someone they was having um, objective views on. And they went back into another cycle. Maybe they were scared to close this cycle out because some this person could have had something over their head. Courage, the cowardly lion. That's his motherfucking name. Somebody was acting like courage, act like they was had courage, but they was actually a coward, is what I'm picking up. So this coward ass energy didn't close out, didn't close off this situation, went back into a situation, into a comic situation, and now they're going through a bunch of got the mayhem, um, uh, a mayhem and and conflicting views and um, a bunch of destruction right now is is, is around this person. Yeah, I got 19, break it down to a 10. He went back into an old cycle. 31, break it down to four. He could be a life path number four. And if it's not a he, then it's a she. Please flip the situations around as you see fit. Not everybody's situation, but somebody's situation. There's an earth guardian here. I'm picking up Obatala energy here. So Obatala was trying to protect this person. But but this, but your, thank you, confirmation. Obatala was trying to protect your person. 2212 from this goddamn fake ass relationship. But they chose to go back into a cycle with, with confusion because they were too scared to um to, to move towards you and tell, tell you how they really felt. So they went back into an old karmic relationship. They went back into something that they was used to. Yeah, you could somebody who thought that this person was a divine mother here. They thought this person was nurturing, compassionate and full of grace. But this person wasn't full of grace. 37 breaking down to 10. They're supposed to end it, ended this situation with this divine mother, but she's not a divine mother because she caused a bunch of conflict, confusion, and delays and setbacks. She could be a mother. They could have kids together. Yep. Can you clarify um the, the divine mother card for me, please? Yeah. Source wants you to make plan, plans and focus. So this divine mother could have strategized, plotted, was in this warrior energy to keep your person away from you or to keep your person from coming back towards you. She made sure she put a guard up on this energy. Yeah, but you are a high priestess. And you're not looking back anymore about this situation. You're not looking back with this situation. You are a high priestess out here. You are a high priestess and you have shielded your heart from this energy is what I'm picking up. Can you clarify divine mother for me, please? Yeah, but somebody needs to be brave and honest and come towards you and tell you the truth before they can even um, come towards you. And so it says, please, with stag energy, trust and it says trust and thrive. So something is going to be thriving soon, but trust in the process because everything is going to work itself out. Can I get a divine mother? Are y'all going to clarify the divine mother for me? Please and thank you. Who is this divine mother? Someone, um, I have the sacred action came in reverse. So somebody was being decisive, trying to keep your per person blocked and locked off from them blocked off from you she tried to keep you uh try to work on your mental she tried to work on your masculine mental by doing some type of spell work here 
She she was very focused at doing this. Yeah. She could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. But she was very focused and fixated on making sure that you guys don't get back together. Confirmation. Yeah. This person is a shapeshifter here. So this person switched between different um, identities. One moment she's sweet. One moment she's angry. One moment she's unhappy. One moment she's uh, 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 going out here, hanging out with friends and being happy with them and not with the masculine or vice versa. However, this person can go hot to cold in no time. And I feel like the masculine has found this out. Is there any more messages? To get the divine, to get the divine. <laughs> y'all are divine, right? Yeah, y'all are divine. But any more messages from the divine? Uh-oh. Do I need to give you guys? Yeah, you guys have balance here. You have stability. You have um, a strong foundation. You are standing firm in your power. So, yeah, confirmation. Continue. Because, yeah, you could be a life path number four here. I see 44. You could be a master teacher, master healer here. Yes, you're hunting down your dreams. You are a great teacher and you are a wise one. That is beautiful energy. And I just want to pull a couple more messages before we end this video. Beautiful energy. So my, my, this is your mother's day. You are, you guys have really bossed up and stood in your power. Um, put your foot down and you did not take your foot off their neck. No, you didn't. You know your worth. You know what you can bring to the table. And you said, F you, I'm gone. Period, point blank. Seriously. You know what your worth is about. Because you're something special out here. Because you bring peace. And you're an empath. And you bring death to a situation. And you're not worried about this situation anymore. Period. Yeah. You are loved by the universe, by your family, by your soul tribe. Yeah, you got growth here. I can't make this up. What else? It says, I want to expand my consciousness and my consciousness and my awareness. So you expanding your consciousness and awareness. You are completely, um, I call this expand. You are expanding your mental, your spiritual growth, your emotional growth. And you are loved. You love yourself. The ancestors love you. The creator love you. The spiritual realm could love you. The whole divine force love you. Because you're doing some marvelous things out here. You listen to them and they are so proud of you. Yes, because you have balance here, guys. It says balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Come on, I can't make this up. Any more messages? Yeah, you have discipline here, guys. You are very disciplined and orchestrated and um, you do things by the book and you get it done. That's what I'm picking up. Can I get some more energies? Yes, you, you're not in grief. The grief came in a reverse. So you're not in grief about anything or anyone. Whatever they did to you, you not holding this in you're not holding this emotional in you anymore. This is my saying. Two tears in a bucket, I'll kick it over and say fuck it. For real. Like, man, cry me a river. Boo hoo hoo. You say, man, I don't care about that crap. That's your problem. <laughs> yeah. But you have purpose here though. Yes. And you are on you on your impact level. You are purpose. You on you are living within your purpose. You know what you are here to do. Some of some of us some of us guys have double missions out here. I know I do. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of work to be done out here. For real. Let me kick one more card and I'm gonna get the oracle deck. Damn, I said guilt. Yeah, this person. This this hit my air guardian card. So whoever this Libra. Aquarius, Gemini energy, and she is not feeling guilty or she is not, um, is not ashamed of what she did to this masculine. She is, she knew exactly what she was doing and she, her whole purpose was to destroy him and she's not guilty about it. You could be a tarot card reader here. That's an empath. And yeah. You could have been through a bunch of um, adversities here. Some people were trying to keep us, uh, keep you stuck and bounded and trying to keep you um, stuck. Yeah, stuck and bounded. So you wouldn't move. 
So you will be stuck in one, one set, one set, one mindset. But I feel like you changed your perception and now you can see things from all point of views now. So whatever they did didn't work. One more message. Yeah, they failed. What I tell y'all, they failed like a motherfucker. They failed. Yep. Because you got perseverance. Yeah, now somebody's trying to blame you. <laughs> For what? Because you use your imagination. Yeah, because you don't trust no motherfucking body. You trust yourself. Let's go. Yeah, you are happy. You ain't got time dealing with this energy. Come on, because you have peace and you bring death to a situation. This situation is over. Let's get some two Oracle decks. Let's see what your, what your person got to say or whoever this is got something to say. Spiritual assassins, what's up? What's up, rebels? What's up, gods and goddesses of planet God? What's popping? Yeah. I left when I saw you with someone. So you could have left this person when you seen him with someone or her with someone. And you remember every detail of that day. You know what that detail is. Yes. This person is saying that you guys were too young to date. This person saying, this is saying just being near you is intoxicating. So many things remind you of this person. This person is asking for you to forgive them one day. And this person wants to connect with you again one day. But this person lost their stuff for a while. And we both know that I'm not the one for you. So she, he could be telling this karmic this or you could be telling this masculine this. And this person regrets lying to you. So guys, those are the messages I have for you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bless be you. I shave. Namaste. Amen. Bless it.